Hello YouTube and welcome to this Lego Star Wars unboxing video. Okay, so today we have set 75051, the Jedi Scout Fighter, and this is from the Lego Star Wars Summer 2014 Wave of Sets. Um, and this is actually from the Yoda Chronicles. Um, so the set comes with a piece count of 490 pieces. It is for ages 8 to 14. This retails in the United States, or will retail in the United States, because as of this video on the 29th, I think, of May, it's not yet uh, available in the States. Anyway, it's $59.99, I believe. And here in the UK, it is £59.99, which is overpriced in my opinion, as are most, if not all, of the sets in this wave of Lego Star Wars sets, which is disappointing. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at the box in a second, then get it open up, see what's inside it. Once I've built the set and um, obviously reviewed it, there will be a separate video for that review. And when that is uploaded, there will be a link down to it in the description of this video. So we also have with me here today to give me a bit of help and support, my little helper, Ethan. Say hello, Ethan. Hello. Yeah, there he is. Good boy, Ethan. Okay, so have a quick look around the box. Okay, so first off, as we can see, like I said there, um, from Lego Star Wars, the Yoda Chronicles, we can see down here the minifigures that are going to come in this set, all new or new variants. As we can see there. So obviously, we've already seen the front of the box, around to the rear. Obviously, we can. Cool hall, is he? Yeah, he does look cool hall, actually. So we can see there the set itself, and there's always some of the features um, on the set or within the set. And again, there down the side. So what Ethan was saying was cool hall, which I tend to agree, is that picture there. And we have there, uh, moving up to the side, on the top of the box. Scale. That's outside the minifigures. Yeah, that's right, that's a scale picture. Again, minifigures there, another picture of the set there. Um, just so you can see, there is the price we are paying in the UK, which is not good. What? Okay, so let's get what? this opened up and have a look what's inside. What? Okay, so let's get it open up now. This is one of the, with the push down tabs here. Push down there. At the bottom, which is a little bit more difficult. So, there we go. And now we can pull this out, break the seal there. Okay, so that's our first look at what the inside looks like. As we can see there. Okay, so let's tip this out and have a look what's inside. Okay, so we have bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four, and finally bag five. Total of five bags. We have a sticker sheet, so not too many stickers, which is good. Um, albeit, I suspect there's not too many, if any, printed pieces, which will also not be good. Um, I preferred the printed pieces. They are our instruction manual, so it's just one set of instructions. There's the rear, first inside cover. There we get to see what is um, um, each stage of the build for each bag, what is obviously built. Minifigures, obviously. So look at what's in the rear Lego Club. The sets um, from this first wave of um, summer 2014 Lego Star Wars. Sorry, apologies, trying to get my brain in gear. We have the minifigures that come with this wave, so we now know what is 75058, and it is what I predicted actually. 
um, which is the new MTT, which I am really looking forward to um, getting my hands on that. Because um, for those of you that do know, I also have a, a droid army, so that will be a welcome addition to the droid army. I may end up getting uh, two or even more of those, actually. To go towards the droid army, um, lego.com, Star Wars, inventory, um, on one page. So we have 74 pages of build. Okay guys, so there we are, a quick unboxing of the Jedi Scout Fighter Set 75051. Like I said, I'll get this built and reviewed as soon as possible, and the link will be down in the description of this once that video is up online. Okay, so if you did enjoy this video, please give it that big thumbs up. Any comments, questions, feedback, let me know what you know of this set and the other um, summer 2014 wave of the LEGO Star Wars sets. What's your opinions and thoughts? My opinion and thoughts are summarising. I think it's a good wave of sets. I like all of the sets that have been released, but what I am not impressed with is the price point in the UK. They are way overpriced in my opinion, particularly compared to the um, prices that are being predicted for the United States. Anyway guys, if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And we look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Yes, in the next video. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.